Yeah, I, I try because Kinyarwanda is um, Ichiwazo ni Chivuga and the view of Gachi Gachi. It would be a pleasure if I help, if I'm in the team to help uh, Kiyovu get this trophy. We are with a big player, the star, <laughs> the expansive strike. <laughs> How are you, Samsu? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm very good. How are you interacting with the Nyamirambo? Uh, I just moved in, so I'm trying to put things in order. So, actually, I've not been going out because it's still a new place and um, it takes some time to try to communicate with people. Yeah. Are you communicating well with the Nyamirambo people because they are not good in English? And uh... Yeah, I, I try because Kinyarwanda is a. Um, Ichiwazo ni Chivuga, Ndabiuva Gachi Gachi. But by the moment you are with the Chiyovu fans everywhere in Nyamirambo, mm. because when you you calculate well in Nyamirambo, it's too much. There are too many people from Kiyovu. Are you interacting with them? Yeah, you know, I, I'm still new, and uh, because uh, because of the coronavirus, many people are concentrated, trying to put one or two things in order. But I think when the training starts, I think they will get closer. It will be yeah. okay. Yeah, it will be okay, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, uh, last time we saw you signing for Kiyovu, uh, how is the deal? How? Yeah, it's, uh, they, they came, they had a good uh, proposal, they have the plan to, to take the, the championnat because it's been 26 years without uh, uh, getting a trophy. So when they make, they showed me their plan, so I decided to give them a one season to help them to achieve that uh, goal and uh, to help them to score many goals, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, one season. Uh, are you targeting... Did you, did you target on how you can ex extend the contract after one season or...? Uh, for now, I can't really say because uh, it's still fresh and we've not even started. So, but I think um, I just want to give a gift because some people are still doubtful that uh, Baboa can score only in Yagatari. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I needed to give a gift and uh, it would be a pleasure if I help, if I'm in the team to help uh, Kiyovu get this trophy to be a great uh, achievement for me. It yeah. means you came to Chiyovu to prove that you are able to score everywhere. Every exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, before signing, before joining Chiyovu, uh, we saw main, 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 main news saying that you are uh, yeah, Ryan Sports, uh, Ice Tigari, and many clubs in East Africa, Kenya, uh, Tanzania are targeting you. Uh, how Kiyovu did excite you? How Kiyovu did attract you to come to Mumeni? Yeah, it, uh, it was not an easy task because although I have uh, other places to go, but uh, uh, I needed to, because every country I go, I like to, 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 to make a record. I was unable to achieve that record in Sunrise because of the pandemic. Yeah. But now I needed to set a record to beat the previous record before I say goodbye to Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> it means before you leave Rwanda, you have to... To yeah, make a record. Yeah, I have to make a record, yeah. That's uh, the goals nobody has scored in the history of Rwanda League. Mm. That was my target when I came in. Yeah. It means you are targeting to score 20 goals. Not 20 goals, a uh, minimum of 25 goals. <laughs> that is what I want to do. It will be possible for you in Kiyovu? Yeah, of course, it's very possible because uh, the previous season, I played two matches against Kiyovu, I didn't score. You can imagine I score Rio, Appel, every other team, but not scoring uh, Kiovo because they have a very good defense. And uh, a team that has a very good defense and they don't have finishing, imagine I come there and uh, I make things happen. Kiovo is going to be a team to watch out for next season because we have a very good good squad and we have a good coach as well. As well, the fans <laughs> have to make sure that they, they will see Baboa Timomena. Yeah, of course. I I told the fans, the ones that have lost hope in in supporting the team to come back. This is the time you will need the full support from the fans because we are going to make them proud this time around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, in a big sort of Kiyo, do you have many friends from Kiyo so that it will be easy to you to 
to integrate in the club? Yeah, I have uh, my big friend uh, Mbogo Ali <laughs> and even Vensa. <laughs> so it's very easy and uh, I'm getting along with uh, even Amel, the Cameroonian. So it's, uh, and uh, Sir Mbogo Ali was my captain before. <laughs> so yeah, in Sunrise. So it's, uh, it's going to be very easy and I'm happy because they, they welcomed me with both hands and the job is going to be much, much easier. So you, you have many best moments in, in Sunrise and you decided to, 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 to leave them. It was an easy decision? No, it wasn't. It wasn't because even for them to give me a release, <laughs> it took them. <laughs> they keep telling me, Asia, 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 Asia. So it was not uh, so easy for me to, to make up that decision. Okay. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's life. I have to move on. And uh, I gave them a gift. I told them that my name should be written on the start Gorgota <laughs> before leaving. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, you scored against Rayo two times, I think, uh, and you scored for APR at the Gorogota. Yeah. And you come in the city where the teams are living. Mm. Uh, it will be uh, an easy concentration to you to for the levels. Of course, it's uh, it's going to be much much easier. The job will be much much easier because the lights of uh, the the players in Kiovo they are very experienced and they are very professional. So the job will be much much easier for me now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the one as we saw you in, in Sunlight, mm. but many of us, many of the fans, they don't know where did you come from. So you can tell us your journey. Where you, did you start before coming to Rwanda? Yeah, it's, uh, I was actually I was born in Lagos, but uh, originally I'm not from Lagos. My parents are not from Lagos, but they reside in Lagos, so I was born in Lagos, and uh, I didn't like to, to 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 play in the Nigerian league because uh, I want to. I like to travel to other countries to make to make uh, records and. Uh, so I went in, after playing two seasons in Nigeria, in Gateway and in Taraba FC, I went in the Bangladesh, I went in Egypt, I went in Algeria. So the journey has been very long, but I came in Rwanda and uh, things changed because I didn't, I, think, I didn't think I was going to spend this long in Rwanda, but Rwanda is a good country and uh, it's a nice place to be. So I feel comfortable here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who who addressed you in Rwanda? Yeah, it's uh, Rotamu, yeah, Joe. Yeah, he actually spoke to, to, to my manager in Nigeria and he said the Sunrise is a, is a team that needs very good players to, to step up because uh, they want to be among the champions. So we came in, we tried as much as possible to make sure the team is, is progressing. And uh, thanks to God, I was able to make them achieve so many things, like not defeating Apple. I, I was there to, uh, we defeated Apple in Yagatari and I scored two goals as well. So it's a great achievement for them because we said, and the first team to beat Rennes for home and away, it was done in my regime. So it's a good thing. I came in and I was able to help them achieve a lot. Yeah. So you come in Rwanda, you scored every season, you score uh, the representable goals. Is uh, that mean in Rwanda? Uh, is that a true definition that in Rwanda we have we don't have the the sharp strikers on you? Yeah, the sharp striker, but it depends on how the mentality and it depends on the work rate. Because for you to achieve a lot, that means you have to go extra miles to do extra training and, uh, and most especially to pray to God because you can't do it alone. You, must, uh, you need the favor of God because hard work and prayers, you can achieve anything you want in this life. <laughs> uh, sometimes in, in the world, in the world of sports, uh, we see uh, sometimes big players like you, when they signal for the, the, some clubs, after a few months, uh, another big club can come and propose you. What can happen? Yeah, anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because uh, everybody needs the service of a good striker. And being the top striker from Sunrise, where you have bigger teams like Apple, it means that player is exceptional. So playing in Kyovo, my it's a good thing to play in Kyovo, but uh, anything can happen. <laughs> it means, uh, for example, when can when younger come to for a good deal for a good option, you can interact with you so that you can leave the, the place without playing for them. 
Yeah, I, like I said, everything is possible. <laughs> yeah, but I would like to 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 play, even though it's uh, for this season. I like to dedicate this season to Kyovo and help them to achieve what they want to achieve. Then I can say goodbye. Okay. Yeah. And uh, in Sunrise, you you worked with many coaches, different coaches uh, in Sunrise. Uh, which coach can you? Among them, which coach can you uh, say that he, 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 he did uh, a good job for you? Yeah, it's, uh, there are two coaches because I played under four coaches. So it's uh, Moses Basena and Gatera Alphonse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How can you describe uh, Gatera? He's a Rwandan. Yeah, Gatera, it's, uh, it's a very good coach because he's one of the coaches I played under that didn't have any problem with the players because the most important thing for the coaches is for you to be very close to the players we, nobody hates the coach Gatera so it means he has a very good relationship with the players and he was an ex-international so uh, coaches that have that went through football that played football they know how to manage players better than the ones that didn't play at all because they know how it feels to be a footballer and they know the struggles that it entails as well but he's one of the best coach I've played on that. Uh, although I miss him because he's no longer in Rwanda. But <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, during, uh, during your uh, journey in Sunrise, you played with the Ulime uh, Yeah. How I, was the partnership? Yeah, the partnership was good. It was good because uh, playing with Jiri, it's, uh, you have a, a, a goal pocher. It's easy because when all eyes are on Baboa, it's easy for him to score because <coughs> Uh, uh, playing against uh, Sunrise, everybody focus on Baboa, so it becomes very difficult to score when you have two players always with you. So that was why it was very easy for me to make assists. I was doing more of the assists than scoring because all eyes are on me. But Jerry is a good player and it was good to, to play with him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you start uh, playing in Sunrise as a striker, full striker, or you started in, in different posts? Yeah, I started as a midfielder. <laughs> <laughs> I started as a midfielder, but uh, it was I was scoring some kind of goals when I was playing in midfield, and uh, Coach Everest Mugabo Everest told me, "Ah, Baboa, these goals you score is not goals for midfielder. You have to go in the attack. I believe you can do it." So he kept encouraging me to. But at first, it was very difficult for me to start to play as a striker because I remember the first match I played against uh, Mokura in Butari. It was where I was totally off because it was the first time I was going to play as a striker, <laughs> so it wasn't easy. But the Every started continued encouraging me, Babo. I know you can do it. You have uh, technique. You have everything to have to score a lot of goals. So it started. So I started uh, training and working, improving and improving, and here I am today. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, in last season, uh, in the to that season you you scored against Rayon home and away. Mm. Uh, but how can you tell us the the last goal at the uh, Regional? Regional. <laughs> That was the best goal ever because um, actually I I did some kind of footwork and it was even the weaker foot I used to play the shot so it was really extremely we came out strong because uh, Rio felt they underrated us that it's Sunrise a small team they defeated us in Yagatari they cannot do it in Kigali so we came out determined and we were together there was unity among us and we tried to co cover the lapses of one another you make mistake there's no point to continue to to complain we just have to correct every mistake and it was a bam after it was the best goal for me so far this previous this last season it was one of the best goals i scored yeah in that in that match we saw you attacking defending attacking defending yeah that is it's to you to to attack at the same time by defending yeah because uh, for me the first thing i want to do is for the team to win before I think of me even scoring. So it doesn't matter who score. What matters is the win. We need that three points. So every time I'm playing attack because I am very good in the air. So most times I go back to help the defense. So it's like uh, the pattern of the coach. To beat Rayon Sport, we have to be together. 
we have to attack together we have to defend together so that was the his was easiest way to beat rio so it was uh, that's why i was always coming back to help the defense and when we get the ball it's fast counter attack it was counter we used to score the two goals <laughs> because rio did not expect what was happening what was what we planned so it was very easy for us and it was difficult for Rio. okay yeah uh, playing as a striker sometimes you need a uh uh, an attacking midfielder behind you. Uh, which attacking midfielder? Who can you uh, can you grade that he is good in uh, midfielding? Uh, to 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 give me assist. For me, I think if I have Musa Ali Sova behind me, <laughs> I can score up to forty goals. <laughs> He's a very good midfielder. He plays in, in Musanzi. Although I was. Um, I was being proposed to go to Musanzi, but um, I didn't because uh, I needed to play in Kigali and uh, I want to take champion now. And I saw the I saw the plan of Kiyovu and I decided to join them. It means you you refused to go to Musanzi due to targets and uh... yeah, due to target and due to um, the 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 record I want to to, to break in Rwanda. So I decided to go to Kiyovu. But they were, they were offering you too much money. Yeah, they offered too much money, but most times uh, money is not enough. <laughs> money can never be enough because if you think of money, first you think about your career. You think about your career, you think about what year you are supposed to be in the next year. So if you take money and you can take money and your, 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 your career goes down. And why you take little money and your careers keep increasing. So being the top scorer in Kiovo, it's going to amount to a lot of money. Sometimes it is worth the wait. You have to be patient to get what you want. You don't just rush things. So, yeah. uh, what secret do you use to always, to every season, to be on, on sharpness? Yeah, it's very easy. First, is to pray to God. And uh, <laughs> since I got married, uh, many things changed. And uh, my wife has been supportive in this career. She pushes me, even though I feel lazy sometimes. You see, Oni, you have to go to do extra training. Don't forget, your <laughs> babua. So many expectations is from you, so you have to try to to meet up to the expectation. And here I am in Kiovo. It means the job is going to, the training is going to be times five. Because this is city, there is high expectation from Babua to score. If I can score 16 goals in Yagata, it means I can score 30 in Kigali. That is how. So, is to pray and to work hard. Okay. Yeah. You were saying about your uh, sweet Mutima, your wife. <laughs> but some, sometimes the the players, some stars, yeah. they, it's it get it get tough they, to them to to get married. How did you get? The, how did you decide to? Yeah, you know, when you meet, uh, you can meet a lot of girls and you don't find that, um, that wife material in them. When I, when I met her, I took time to study her. Even for me, I didn't think I was going to get married because I never thought I would fall in love with somebody that is so special. <laughs> yeah, but it happened. I came, we met and uh, gradually, gradually we started getting close, closer and... Um, for me, when I see a wife material in somebody, it's easy for me to know. When I saw it in her, I, I didn't spend time, I didn't waste so much time. I just went to the family and uh, we started the preparation of everything. <laughs> and uh, I'm very lucky and I'm very happy to have uh, a woman that has a pure heart, a heart of gold and uh, she prays. She prays a lot. She makes sure she supports my career. That is the most important thing for a, your wife to support your career. Is she a fan of football? Of course, she's a, she's my fan. <laughs> she's my she fan. Come to the stadium of course, football. she can't miss a match. She always put on my jersey when she's coming to the to the stadium. She can never miss my match. Well, for the next week, we see we see her in uh, the colors of you. Yeah, of course, I have her jersey already. <laughs> so we, we we didn't see nowadays. We, yeah. we, we didn't see many players from Nigeria come to Rwanda. We are seeing Ghanaians, we are seeing uh, Marians. Uh, is there uh, many players in, in, in Nigeria so that they can come here? So? Yeah, they are very good players. You know, Nigeria is a blessed country because um, they are far, far, far better players. Million players that are very, very, very good players. But it depends on the communication they have with uh, most of the teams here. And uh, it's also most of the agents that can f search for good players and bring them to, to the country. So that's how it is.
the time at which the agents can uh, approach you, can you give them the contact? Can you get? Uh, can you make a contact uh, between them and the, those players? Because you know many players uh, from Nigeria out there. Yeah, I know players, but uh, I can't give a contact to somebody because uh, <laughs> I'm just a player. I'm not an agent, so <laughs> I concentrate on my job only. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, I think it's your fifth year. Uh, f uh, it's your fifth year in Rwanda. Mm, no, no, fourth. Fourth year yeah. in Rwanda, uh, and you have a Rwandan wife. Yeah. How are you uh, thinking on the Rwandan nationality? So that you can come in Amavubi. Amavubi, yeah, it would be a great pleasure to play in Amavubi. And um, playing in Kiovu, it will make even all the, the Rwandese, they see the true Baboa. Because most times when in Yagatari, it's like four hours from here. People don't see Baboa. They only hear Baboa. But now is the time for people to come <laughs> to see Baboa. <laughs> yeah, when they come to see, it's, um, it will be a good idea because they see, yes, now they see Baboa, they know that he's a good player. Then ah. it will be a great pleasure to play, to serve Rwanda. It's a good country. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it will be uh, a pleasure to you to join Amavu? Or? Yes, of course. And even my wife would love to see me in that <laughs> in that colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but boy, it's, uh, it's it's not an easy an easy test for uh, for a, a, a person for a striker for a player uh, to go to the best level or to to the maximum level. Mm -hmm. uh, it means you faced many challenges, good goodest one and the baddest one. Uh, how can you describe your uh, good moments and bad bad moments? Let's start for the good moments. The good moments, yeah. The good moment was when. I finally picked up and I started scoring goals and uh, the memory in Yagatai will be that match of Apel scoring two goals, okay. defeating Apel for the first time. Yeah. It was a very, very nice moment for the citizens of Yagatai. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Why the bad moment was um, when I met with some coach that uh, he doesn't like me, so he tried every means to get me out of the team. But it wasn't easy to remove Baboa from the team because I have a big god I serve and I'm not a lazy player. I work very hard. So I been I was loved by the fans of Yagatari. So even as much as he tried everything to remove me from the team, he couldn't succeed. It was very tough because um, he, w he wished me bad because he had his own player he wants to bring into the team, but <laughs> he couldn't succeed. It was very it was a very, very rough moment because he tried everything possible to make sure he removed me from the team. He doesn't even want to play me in my position. Sometimes he, he does a lot of things, but still, I was able to succeed. <laughs> Is that in which season? Yeah, that was uh, 20, 2018, 2019. 2018, 2019 season. Okay. Yeah. 2018, 2019. Okay, I know him. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a big reason, a big reason did you, uh, did you get in your career? A big student can tell some uh, young players, a big reason that you, you got in your career. Yeah. What I got in my career is um, we don't rush things. What you just do is to try to pray very hard, believe in God, and work hard. When is your time, is your time. And when it comes to your time, nobody can even change it. That is what I believe. And uh, everybody has a season. Now this is the season of Babua. And the season will always continue because I've gotten to the peak of the career that I can't go beyond this level I am. It's going to be higher and higher. So for everybody that has lost hope in the football, I want to encourage them to, to try to step up. That the situation might be bad today, but tomorrow it's going to be better as long as you don't give up. As long as you don't quit, the sky is just the limit. Yeah. Any message to the Sunrise fans and the Let's start for Sunrise. <laughs> sunrise, yeah, it was, uh, it was a tough situation to say goodbye to Yagatari because uh, they have been of help to me ever since I came in Rwanda. And um, even some fans, still now, they have still not accepted that I've left. But uh, it's life, I have to move on. And uh, it's a sad uh, news for them. Some people even, some of the fans told me, Babua, I'll stop to support Sunrise. Now I support Kyivu because <laughs> <laughs> you are my personal fan. But uh, that is life. It's, uh, sunrise will always uh, be in my heart. Most times I can go to visit, 
the fans and say hello to them because um, it's a good place. But now it's uh, time to move on. Okay, yeah. Next for Kiovo. Yeah, for Kiovo is um, to encourage the fans to, to come, to support those that have lost interest in the team. This is the time to come back and have a good support because we have very good squad now. We have the best defense, we have the best midfield and we have the best attack. So it's going to be... We're going to make the fans very proud this season, this time around. Yeah. Any message, uh, a general message to uh, football family? Or? Yeah, to all the football family, I want to appreciate uh, the hard work for every footballer and even the media, the staff and everything. And uh, in this period of uh, pandemic, it's not so easy, but uh, together we can fight and uh, make sure things come back to normal because we have God. Yeah. Thank you very much, Baboa, yeah, and uh, good luck at yeah. the new cloud. Thank you so much. <laughs>